Hello everyone, today is day 16 of my 30 day SQL query challenge and the problem that I have taken for today was shared to me on LinkedIn by one of my connections. She faced this problem during a business analyst interview and this problem is actually taken from hacker rank. Now as you can see this is the problem statement. We basically need to find the COVID percentage increase. So we have been given an input table which basically mentions the total number of COVID cases on different days. Okay, We need to write a query to calculate the percentage increase in COVID cases each month versus cumulative cases as of the prior month. Return the month number and the percentage increase rounded to one decimal point. Order the result by month. I hope the problem statement is clear. You will find the data set and the problem statement and all the other uh, materials in my blog as well as in Discord server. You can download it and you can try to solve it on your own and then you can share your solution in Discord. Okay. Now I will be solving this problem using PostgreSQL database. Okay. Now as you can see, I have already created this table. Now before I even get into solving this problem, first of all, I need to build a logic on how I can solve it. Right. Now you can see that I have 39 records in this table and the data is specific to different days. Right. Now first and foremost, my requirement is that I need to provide one record for each month. Right. And even the problem statement tells me that I need to find the percentage increase specific to each month. OK. But I need to compare it with the total cases from all the previous months. So this means my very first requirement is that the input data that is given is specific to each day. I need to convert it into month wise data. Now I can easily convert this day wise data into month wise data just by doing an aggregation, right? So what I'll just do is I'll just use the same query here. I'll say I need, okay, so I have this date. I need the month, the month number, right? Since I'm using PostgreSQL, I can easily do that by using the inbuilt function extract. I can say from ex extract function uh, from this particular date, extract the month from the field dates. Okay, and I'm going to call it like month. If I run this, you can see that I'm getting the month ID. Now I want to sum all the different cases. So for that, I'll say I need to put it like this. So I'll say month and then I'll say month of, I think the column name is cases reported, cases. I'll put it here, cases reported as I'll say monthly cases okay and then I need to do an aggregation that is basically I need to group the data based on each month right so this field here or this function here gives me each month I need to sum the total cases hopefully it will give me what I got okay so I need to put a by and now if I run and I need to remove the dot and if I run now you can see that for each month the total number of cases I am able to get just for clarity I'm just going to sort the data by month and I'll just say the month field Okay, now you can see that I'm getting 12 records. So one record for each month. And this is basically telling me the total number of cases that were reported for each month. Okay, now this is basically the first step that I had to do. Now, once I have this, my next step is I need to find the total cases until the previous month, right? Or until this current month. So when I'm in the first record, the total cases will still be the same. That is because there's only one month data. When I go into the second month, I should sum the data from the first month and the second month together which is going to be my total cases that should be in the second row when i come to the third record the total cases will be the sum of all these three that should be in row three and so on and so forth now you might think that you have to use the lag window function but that might not be the right solution for this particular step because if you use lag you can just go and fetch the data from one particular row right that is from the previous row but we need to sum the data from all the rows together so a better solution here would be to use the window function and use the sum function basically use the sum as a window function okay i'll show you how to do that but i cannot just use that here because i'm already doing an aggregation here so if i wanted to use this same column inside the window function then th this group by is not going to allow that okay and for that i'll put this into a ct so i'm just going to say with ct as and i'll just move this to the right okay and i don't need order by clause within the ct right and then here i'm just going to say select from cte and I, what I want to fetch is all the fields. Additionally, I want to fetch the total cases. For total cases, I will just say sum, okay? And I'll take this column value, monthly cases, and I want to use it like a window function. So I'll use the over clause 
and I'll say order by month. Okay, and this is going to be my total cases. Now, if I run this, you can see that for the first month, the total cases is the same. For the second month, the total cases is 125,000 plus the 65,000, that is 190,000 something. For the third record of the third month, you can see the sum of all these three together is mentioned as my total cases. Okay, and so on and so forth. Now, here you don't need to change the uh, default frame clause because as per the default frame clause when you are using the sum window function or any other function when you are processing the first record that window function only has access to the first record that is exactly what I want when it is processing the second record the frame will only have access to the first two rows when SQL is processing the third record the frame will only have access to the first three rows and that is exactly what I want in this particular scenario right so I don't need to do anything with the frame clause here the default frame clause will actually be good enough. Okay, so this is how I have got my total cases. What next? Now what I need to do is I need to find the percentage. In order to find the percentage, for the first record, I don't need the percentage. I need to mention it like a dash or a hyphen. I can do that later. I need to start from the second row. So second row, I need to take the monthly cases, divide it by the total cases reported until the last month. That is this record. Okay, so this divided by this, into 100 should give me the percentage okay when i come to the third row i should take this record divided by this record okay into 100 should give me the percentage that means this is where i probably need to use the lag okay lag window function but i should do the lag of this particular column right and this particular column is already coming from a window function i cannot use a window function inside another window function right because it's going to throw me an error so at least it's not allowed in postgresql and that is why i need to use another uh, CT here and this time I'm just going to call it like CT final. I'll put a comma here. I'll say as and I'll move this to the right and I'll just put this here and okay so in my outer query I'm just going to say select star from CTE final. It should still be provide me the same output and here I want to add my new column that is the percentage. So for that I need to say the total not the total cases, the, okay, the calculation is monthly cases, okay, but first of all, I don't want to do it for the first record, right, so I'll put a case statement saying that case when month is greater than one, okay, only if it is greater than one, then I want to do that logic, if it is not, if it is basically equal to one, I just want to pass hyphen, right, I'll mention that in the else clause, so if it is greater than one, then I say, then, and here I want to take the monthly cases, right, divided by the total cases, but the total case from the previous record, right, when it's processing this record, I want the total case from the previous record. So I'll say lag of this total cases over, I'll say order by month, okay. So this whole thing, I need to multiply this by uh, 100 right hopefully it will give me the percentage if i just run this and let's say i'll put the else part here else i want to pass the hyphen and okay i can put the end also here and and this column will be percentage increase now if i run the whole query i'm getting an error and i think it is because uh, this is basically a character Whereas what I'm getting here is basically an integer or a numeric value. So I can convert this whole thing into a varchar so that because in the case, whatever result you pass should belong to the same data type, right? So here I can either use cast or I can just mention it like uh, this one and varchar, okay? This particular symbol works in PostgreSQL but does not work in other databases. So I'll just use the most common that everyone knows about that is cast. I'll say cast as varchar. Okay, now if I run this, now you can see that it is actually working. So for the first record, I'm getting hyphen, but for all the others, I'm getting the percentage. But there are too many decimal points here. I want to remove that. So for that, I'll just tell round. What I'll do is I'll use the round inside the cast. Okay, I'll keep the cast as the last uh, value. So I'll say round of this whole thing, right, comma one. Okay, and hopefully that should work. If I run this, Okay, now it's working. So I'm basically dividing monthly cases with the total cases from previous month, multiplying that by 100. Okay, here I'm doing the division. And then 
setting the decimal value to 1. Okay, so this is basically my final output. Now you can see for the first month, there is no percentage increase because that was the first month. For the second month, there is a 51.9% increase. Okay, so 125,000 was in the first month. In the second month, there were 65,000 cases reported. If you compare this, it is 51% of this value. Okay, when I come to the third record, it's 148%. That means previously until month two, there were 190,000 cases. Then in the month, 283,000 were reported that is actually almost near to 150% right 150% increase okay and that is what is reported I hope you understood this problem and I hope you liked it if you did make sure to like the video share it with your friends and I'll see you again tomorrow with another interesting problem bye